Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to get a bunch of bells in Animal Crossing. So, everybody knows Tom Nook's giant loans. Like, right now I have a loan of 2,400,000 something dollars or bells in my um, loan payment area thing. So, I'm going to be teaching you some ways to earn bells so that you can pay off those giant loans that he gives you. So let's get started. If you want to make more money quicker, then you will have to do some time traveling, but if you can just uh, do this stuff every day, um, and if you want to instead of time traveling, but I do recommend time traveling so that you can get more money in the same day, pretty much. At the end of the video, I will teach you how to do time traveling if you don't know already. Okay, so one of the first things you can do is, I have a lot of like fossils and stuff, I'm just going to be putting that away while I tell you, but one of the things you can do is keep, if you have a lot of storage and you don't know what to do with it, every fish or every bug you catch, I recommend putting it in your storage. And then when either CJ, who's the fish person, or Flick, uh, which is the bug person, comes to your island, then um, put <laughs> sell it to them because they give you 1.5 more bells than... Uh, Timmy and Tommy do. So, in my storage, I have, like, a couple fish, a couple bugs. So, yeah. Every- oh, see? He's here today. I'm gonna sell stuff to him in a second. But, um, so basically, uh, you have five rocks on your island every single day, and even if you break them, they do come back, so that's good. And I'm pretty sure guaranteed every time, every day, one of those is a money rock. So you can go through all of your rocks to see which one's a money rock, um, which I know where all my rocks are, so that one's not, and I don't really need any materials, so I'm not going to get the materials. Um, you can see what this one is. So also another, like a hack to doing rocks, which everybody probably knows, is put holes behind you, and then you will be able to get a full eight hits out of all the rocks. And there's one behind here. Two holes. I recommend doing two holes. Oh, see? Here's the money rock. Um, because then, if you slide into one, then you go to the other. So, you're, like, you probably most likely will not slip away. So, as you saw, I had, like, 16,000 already on me. And now, from just that money rock, I have 28,000. Okay, so every day, oh yeah, I forgot there's somebody at my campsite. I'll do that in a second. Every day you get at least four fossils on your island. And if you are like me and you pretty much have all the fossils in the museum, then you can sell them for a good amount of money. Like, they're at least worth a thousand each, but certain fossils are worth like five thousand, four thousand. So that's a good way to make money. And every like three or four days fruit grows on your trees if you have an orchard i remember uh, uh, i recommend making a orchard or orchard or i don't know the word um but like a tree farm of different fruits so then you can sell those and if it's not your native like my native is oranges so if i sold oranges it wouldn't get me that much money but if you sold like or if I sold, like, apples, cherries, uh, peaches, or pears, then I can get more, uh, like, two times more money than I would with, like, my non-native fruit, or my native fruit. So, like, if I sold, oh, heavy smoke. If I sold this fruit, it would be more, a lot more than it would if I sold oranges. So, make sure to make, like, um, whatever, tree farm of fruits. Um, and then that will make you a decent amount of money. Another thing you could do is every time you have weeds somewhere, like all of that up there, then you can keep it in your storage again and wait for a leaf to come so then you get more money for them than you usually do with Timmy and Tommy. And make sure whenever you see one of these glowing spots to plant 10,000 because you were guaranteed to get 30,000. I don't recommend it. Uh, putting like anything higher than 10,000 in a hole because 
70% of the time you were going to get 30,000 instead of, like, if you put 99,000 bells in a hole, then you have a 30% chance of getting 3 times 99 bells, 99,000 bells. So, but if you put 10,000 bells, then you're guaranteed to get 30,000 bells out of that tree. Another thing you could do is you can collect all the seashells on your beach, which I'm pretty sure I've already done, so I don't need to do that, and then sell them to Timmy and Tommy, because that gives you like a thousand bells a day, pretty much. Um, yeah, and also another way is you can shake pretty much every non-fruit tree on your island, and ten of those trees, if you have like 17 trees, ten of those trees will give you a hundred bells, so then you're guaranteed to get like a thousand bells if you have like at least 17 trees, I think. Here's just a little to-do list of like my daily to-do list on Animal Crossing of what I do every day. First, I go and find my beach DIY on the beach, which I already did today. And I got like a bird, but dang it, cranberry wants to move out. Oh, okay, we're not. 3,000 freaking bells. Okay, I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, back to what I was saying. Collect the beach bottle or whatever it is from your beach every day because that'll give you a recipe. Um, then shake non-fruit trees like this one. So this, I don't know what this, I haven't shaken the tree. See, 100 bells. Um, and then I go to the terminal. If you skip then every day you get, like, first time you get 50, I think, second time you get 80, third time you get, like, 100-something, like, extra from just going to the terminal. See, in two-day row, I got 80 bonus. And then I check to see what song is for sale today. Um, I'm looking for bubblegum. My friend has bubblegum, but she won't give it to me because she keeps forgetting to give it to me. Um, so I just go, it's not bubblegum, so I'm not going to take it. Then the next thing I do is I go shopping. Because if you are um, time traveling, then you're going to miss what's in the shop if you just leave um, that day too early. Um, and then after I go shopping, I hit rocks to see if the one of them's a money rock. And then I look for the bell tree, and then I plant 10,000 bells. And then I socialized all my villagers, so in case you skip too long, then none of them want to move out. And then the last thing I do is I collect and assess at least four fossils. I have a lot of fossils on my island. I usually get like seven a day, but you, I'm pretty sure you get at least four a day. So, yeah. See, look at all the wasps I have, which sell for quite a bit. And then I have black basses and daces and red snapper and a sea bass to sell to CJ or Flick. That is not a fish. So, CJ's on my island right now, and you have to do his, like, little competition thingy to get him to let you sell at his island. Or, <laughs> at his, like, sell fish to him. Um, so, as you see, I have all of my fish in my inventory, and then I'm gonna go sell it to him. He was over here last time I checked, yep. I already did his challenge last time, I don't know if I have to do it again, but, um, okay, yeah, I think I have to do his challenge again. Okay, be right back. Okay, after all of that struggling, I finally did his challenge. And now I'm gonna go tell him. Um, I'm just gonna go over there. And he's right over here. And it's here's CJ. Mhm. Mm okay. Now he's gonna say close me. Yeah. And, yeah, I want to sell some fish. Um, so I'm going to sell all of my fish. Not my puffer fish, because I actually got That's my first puffer fish. Apparently, I've never got a puffer fish before. So, 
see 13,000, and you would usually get, like, I don't know, less than that for, from Timmy and Tommy. Um, and then you also get Nook Miles, because some random challenges are, like, yeah. Um, and as you can see, I got into Puffer Fish as a new... Uh, yeah, apparently I'm in July. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please come back because I'm lonely. Bye! Hello everyone. Welcome back. Um, This is actually a few couple days later from the last video you saw. And I'm villager hunting for a spot from Kabuki. And on my third ticket I found Maple! And I just thought that you need to know that I found her, because I'm obviously taking her, because she's so cute. Look at her. Look at her little face. Yes. I'm going to take her. Um, so, I moved out Kabuki, and now I have Maple.